Hello everybody, this is Stringham back to kick off round four for group F. And for group and for this round in this group, we got this quartet of matches. There's our main event of this session. It is Dino Hunter going up against Bruised Blood Moon. But before that we have Heady going up against Benjamina. And then we have Team Allo looking to make it four out of four as they take on Anvil. But at first it is going to be a clash of the bottom two guys between Martin Soto and Dino Huck. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Martin Soto, we've got Paki Rhinosaurus. Paki Rhinosaurus, rather powerful like the dinosaur, yeah? Ding. Martin Soto still searching for their first win of the tournament. At least I think that. Right, in the blue corner for Dino Hug, we got Mini King. Dino Hug got off the mark in round three against Anvil. Will that epic come from behind victory? Looking to go two and two, and a win here would thrust them right back in the mix for the top four. Utah! Oh, what a start from Dino Hug. Mini King getting the Thunder Bazooka off the bat. Paki Rhinosaurus went for the crit, but Mini King's having none of it. Oh, another crit. Well, it's the dream start for Dino Hug. And Martin Soto rocked by that early, those early bazookas. But does get a hit on the board there, an Anyan Gear a dive, a lightning strike to come. Ooh, but the counter blitz has been triggered, and in fact that counter blitz guarantees Paki Rhinosaurus's demise. Oh, it just gets the hit anyway. <laughs> Down goes Paki Rhinosaurus. Right, coming in next for Martin Soto, we've got Saltosaurus with terrain advantage. So it will get the next hit in this match, and it will in fact be a crit. So that could be a big crit coming up. And, even though it has type disadvantage, the Hydro Cutter won't get triggered here. So the crit will do normal damage. So I think, given how strong Saltosaurus' crit is, it's probably going to finish off Mini King, actually. Let's find out. And it does. Right, coming in next for Dino Hug, we got a Patasaurus. So after everything's said and done, we are level packing. Could be a pivotal match this could be for these two, because whoever loses could... will still be stuck at the bottom. But a win for either of these two guys will thrust them up the table. So, so tight in this group. Ooh, but it's a Patasaurus getting the first shot. That defense boost elemental power combo going to activate here. Now, it is going to trigger the Hydro Cutter. That could be a problem. But you've got to get the hit to get the Hydro Cutter. But Saltosaurus does get the hit nonetheless. It's a Neck Crusher. Not much damage dealt, though. Ooh, but a Patasaurus striking back. This is good from Dino Hug. That defense boost, the elemental power, is going to max up now. So it's a Patasaurus. It's going to be pretty tough to kill. But no secret move has been triggered, so that is a saving grace. Ooh, but that's a massive Hydro Cutter. Now, let's see how much damage this does. Because I think this Saltosaurus is heroic type as well. Jeez! Whoa! Oh my goodness, it killed it! Even with the defense buff, the elemental power buff, it still killed it! Whoa, that was insane. Right, coming in third for Dino Hug, we've got Apoatrox. Well, could that be the turning point in this match? 
tie. Ocean Panic is a factor during ties because Saltosaurus does have it. Okay, there it is. Saltosaurus going down. It's a tail smash. Very clinical from Saltosaurus here because the Apatosaurus was stacked. I wonder if the secret move got triggered, would that have speared Apatosaurus? I think it would have. Right, coming in third for Martin Soto, we got the Faganax, the Soro Faganax. Now, normally it would have type advantage over Atrox, but Atrox doesn't have any wind moves. So there's no type advantage here, but it does have the Death Fire. So Dino has got to be careful of that. Although, we haven't seen any meaningful Death Fires yet in this tournament. The ones we have seen have not really been significant. Tie. Oh, that's another hit from Dino Hug. That's going to max up the attack boost. Okay. Deliberately waiting for it to be on seven so he gets the lucky seven buff. Oh, that's going to do it with the attack buff. Martin Soto's going to get slammed by the Tail Smash, and that is definitely going to do it. And it is Dino Hug's victory. Well, they were shaken by that Hydro Cutter, but they recovered well, rallied back, got the win. And they're sitting at 2-2, two and two, and things looking a bit more optimis optimistic for them now. But as for Martin Soto, well, they think this tournament's not looking good for them. Okay, on to match number two. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Team Allo, we got the Blitz type Allosaurus. Ooh, a good field if you're Anvil. This, the Albertosaurus in third, will get terrain advantage. <laughs> Team Allo been, re gotta say, been really impressed with Team Allo in this tournament. They're looking really good for a debutant. I would probably say that they have been the best debutant we've had so far. Up there with the likes of Sunlight Rabbit, Conciliatory Past. I think there's a few others. A Ravgrim. I think there's others as well that I've probably forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, really impressive. In the blue corner for Anvil, as you saw there, we got the Kentaurus. Right, I better be quick, so we've got to go scissors. Right, let's see if he gets any crits off. Look, well, there's one crit. It's Banana Surprise. Wee Bagoosh. Oh, it removed the move. Uh, that's going to make things awkward. Well, it's got to go scissors anyway. <laughs> okay, gets the tie that time. But what a start from Team Allo. Ooh, but the Canterurus gets the next shot in the match. It's a dive impress. Not much damage dealt, though. This Decanterurus, I believe, is counter type. So it really needed to get the hit before the tie, but obviously the uh, vet, the um, banana surprise didn't allow that. Ooh, the Venom fan coming in here. A good response this from Anvil. Gonna poison the arrow as well, and after all that, we are level packet. The tie. Poison really wearing the aloe down. But it is Allosaurus that gets that next hit. And it is going to put Team Aloe in the lead. But the Canterus definitely did, did some good stuff. Right. Coming in next for Anvil, we've got Edmontosaurus. Now, it could be a problem here because it does have tight disadvantage. But only against the Allosaurus Atrox. And only when that Atrox gets his Hurricane Beat triggered. And, well, it's Nature's Blessing, so I don't think tight disadvantage is going to be too big of an issue for Edmontosaurus here. Because Team Allo only have one win move in their entire team. And, well, they get the hit. Oh, no, they don't. It's Poposaurus, it's tag team. Ooh, how crucial could that tag team be come the end game? Oh, no, he's limping, love him. Or a hurt. Could be a she -mail. Okay, they get the hit anyway. This time the Allosaurus is going down. 
And as a side note, they said Montosaurus is revival type as well. So remember, if it dies in a tie, it will get to come back once. Hmm, you have to say, this has been an impressive showing from Anvil so far. I think they have landed more hits in this match than Team Allo, but Team Allo did get that big crit at the start. Which is pretty much why we're level packing. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we've got Allo Atrox. It does have the Hurricane Beat, but it doesn't but it doesn't have type advantage until that Hurricane Beat gets triggered. And it only gets triggered after a loss. So the Allo Atrox is gonna take a hit before the type advantage is a factor. Ooh, another hit from Anvil here. Tappy Jara dies. Well, they won't get Nature's Blessing because the Edmontosaurus is on full HP, but that will trigger the Hurricane Beat. And Team Allo really needs to get a big hit here because all the momentum at the minute is with, T it's with Team Anvil. Another death grind, another Tappy Jara dive. I think for the first time in this tournament, Team Allo is really struggling. Another crit! And it's another death grind! Yeah, Team Allo just can't get a hit. I think they've got like a few hits, but Team, Team Anvil have been really good in this match. And all of a sudden now, big lead, it's big lead. We won't count Team Allo out yet though. Because they can turn this around. And coming in third, they got Alpha Allosaurus. Again, doesn't have any win moves, but it doesn't need it. And it's gonna have to do its work here because Team Allo is you know, they this is the first time in this tournament they have actually struggled. Okay, there's a hit to steady the ship. Attack boost coming in. That's going to come in handy. Okay, that's going to max up the attack boost. Will we see some poison action? No, we don't. But Team Allo finally rallying back here. Getting some hits on the board. Okay, that's a tie. But if you're, T if you're Anvil, you don't mind that. And they said Montosaurus is revival type, so they said if it dies in a tie, it will get to come back. And those ties will wear down the uh, Alpha Allosaurus, as will this hit. Well, that's the losing bonus points secured, but look at this, a nature's blessing coming from Anvil. That means it can continue to chip away with ties, or just get hits. Oh, they get the hit! Can they get the bonus point victory? What a performance from Anvil. Actually, they're going to win because Albertosaurus comes in next with terrain advantage. But can they get the bonus point? No. Well, it's no bonus point victory here. But it is going to be Team Anvil's victory courtesy of this Albertosaurus. It will get the terrain hit. And Alpha Allosaurus isn't going to survive. It's a guy. But Team Allo, for the first time in this tournament, is going to taste defeat. Oh, there's the move block. Oh no, down it went. But what a win for Manville. And that does shake up this group and it does have implications for our main event of this session. Right, on to match number three. Right the ho in the red corner for Heady we got Triceratops. Stone Cold Grey Triceratops. And the wheels have kinda come off a bit for Heady after the uh, round one victory, two straight defeats. Looking to get back to winning ways here. But in the blue corner for Benjamina we got Carnotaurus. Benjamina pulled off a surprise victory in round three against Blood Moon in all honesty. I still don't know how they pulled that off. <laughs> but some things remain a mystery. But a win here would in fact put them up to second. Prior to the main event. 
Right, uh, there's no secret dinosaurs here, so no terrain advantages. Ooh, Heady getting the first shot of the match, that there. Lightning strike. Once. Ooh, oh, another lightning strike. This is a good start from Heady. But it is awakening time for the Karno and a crit here would one shot the try. Whoa, he went for it. Didn't go for it. And, and Trike gets the hit there. A good start from Heady continuing. And another lightning strike. This Triceratops dominating so far. Well, it hasn't even been hit. Right, coming in next for Benjamin now. We got Super Ceratosaurus. Again, Awaken Mode on two. Um, pretty similar to the uh, Carnotaurus flip, but with a little bit less attack power. And well, he's going to need that Awaken hit to get back in this contest, because his freaking Triceratops is sweeping. Okay, there's a hit. It's going to trigger the attack boost as well. Gonna help a jet shuriken? Nope. Okay, that's one. Oh, but that's a big thunder driver from the trike. And this trike is heroic type as well, so this is gonna do a crap ton of damage. Ceratosaurus is gonna take a pound in here. Jeez, look at that! Can he get the awakened head? Oh, they can't! Oh, that's going to be costly. Almost killed it. Oh, okay. They do get the crit here, but well, wish they had it with the Awakened hit. Oh, a good crit, though. Attack boost maxing up. Needed that hit, but it's been heady well on top here. Well, there goes the Triceratops, so heady will not go 2 nil up in this matchup. I mean, they, pra they practically are. The Ceratosaurus got a sliver of health. Right, coming in next for Heady, we got Spinosaurus. Now, the odds are this Spinosaurus is going to have a chance to get some hits off on the Kark. And if they can get that, Heady might be thinking bonus point time. Can Ceratosaurus get some shots in before the cart comes in? There's another hit. Benjamin are finally putting up a fight in this match. And that's going to be a Cyclone as well. Ooh, that's a tie. But remember, the Cyclone allows Ceratosaurus to hit that crit. Benjamin are coming right back in this contest. And look at this all of a sudden. And that is going to put him in the lead. So not only did he chip away the Spino, he's got one better and freaking killed the thing. And things are it's starting to fall apart for Eddie here. Right, coming in third for Eddie, we've got the T-Rex. Well, it's going to need to perform now from thinking of a possible bonus point win. Now all of a sudden they're thinking they just need to get the win. Because they're losing. Now, he, he does have tight advantage over the Serato, so. But he just can't, can't kill it. Okay, there it is. But, wow, Ceratosaurus did amazing work. And that's it. How crucial could that Cyclone be? That could have been a massive Cyclone. Right, coming in third for Benjamino, we've got Cocorodontosaurus. The dinosaur that helped him beat Blood Moon in round three. Can it help them win this match? Three. Okay, there's a hit from Heady. Heady regaining the lead here. Going for a crit, but not getting it. A light recovery coming in. 
That'll put Benjamino back in front. Oh, hello. We got a Volt Boost as well. Big shot from the car, that. And that actually guarantees the losing bonus point for Benjamino. Which, let's be honest, given the way the match started, they probably would have bit your hand off at that. But now, forget that, they could win this match. Because this T-Rex is reeling. Can they win it? Oh, but that's a crit. One crit can change this game. Is that going to be lethal? Oh, he's lethal. And Heady snatches the match. Well, I, I say snatch, but they were on top for most of it. So, yeah, they probably did deserve the win. But it is Heady's victory. But Benjamin are put up a really good fight in the end and gets the losing bonus point. And, well, that losing bonus point probably comes because of the Cyclone. And actually, let's see what happens if there was no Volk Burst. Ooh. Well, I say Cyclone was crucial. How crucial was that Volcano Burst? Because without that, Benjamino would have won this match. Absolutely crazy. But now, it is on to our main event of this session. And given Team Allo's defeat earlier, a chance to close the gap and go top of this group. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Dino Hunter, we have got Spiny. Dino Hunter looking strong, good in this tournament so far. Got the uh, two wins in a, on the row after the first round loss to Team Allo. Right, we are on the Arid Field, which favours Earth types, which is um, not good for either of these two teams because neither of our guys have Earth types. Now, in the blue corner, the Blood Moon, we got the T-Rex. Blood Moon strong as ever in the group stage. Although, they did suffer what I'd like to call a shock loss in round three against Benjamina. I mean, if it was one match that they were going to win this tournament, I thought it would be definitely be that one, but apparently they lost. <laughs> Let's see if they can bounce back here against Hunter. It's going to be tough, though, because Spiny will have taken advantage initially, so well, does that give Dino Hunter the upper hand in this match? It most certainly does. But that doesn't guarantee the Dino Hunter the win. And there's a good start from Blood Moon, a fire cannon right off the bat. But yeah, look at that. Although T-Rex's power isn't a crit, so if it hits with a crit, it's going to do a lot more damage. Ooh, dodged a bullet there, Dino Hunter. And gets the hit on the board. And it is level packing. Oh, that's a crit. That's exactly what Blood Moon wants. Massive hit from the T-Rex. And look at that, even with a tight disadvantage. That crit is lethal. And that's going to be curtains for Spiny. And it is Blood Moon going into the lead. And Dino Hunter might be in trouble here early on. Because that type advantage is going to turn into a type disadvantage. Because the Sign Raptor's coming in. And speak of the devil, here it is. Up next for Dino Hunter, it is Sign Raptor. I, I like choked on my uh, dangly thing then. <laughs> I always do that. It's like my the back of my throat is very tight. Anyway, back to this match. Dino Hunter needs to start getting hits here, otherwise this could happen. That's another fire cannon from Blood Moon and Blood Moon doing it again. Yeah, look at the difference in damage there compared to when Spiny got hit by that fire cannon. Blood Moon need, needs this crit here if he can get it. Oh, that's a tie. That's bad for, for Dino. That's going to trigger the burning dash. I mean, a crit from this T-Rex is going to kill it anyway. That's a crit. Massive hit from Blood Moon. And they are 2-0 up on Dino Hunter. And Dino Hunter is in big, big trouble. Well, is this another classic sweep from Blood Moon? Right, coming in third for Dino Hunter, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. Well, 
if ever there's a time for Dino Hunt that Dino Hunter needs it to perform, it is now. Um, we won't count Dino Hunter out yet, because, you know, if the Pachycephalus always gets going and some hits, Dino Hunter can come back into this match, but Blood Moon well on top here. He needs to, Dino Hunter needs to stop getting hit by that crit. Okay, gets a crit of his own and he needed this. Cannot afford to get hit by another crit. If he gets hit by a crit from this T-Rex, that is probably going to be game over. Well, not officially, it'll realistically be game over. Ty, could have done with them with his spiny. Oh no, that's a crit! Three crit from Blood Moon. They've been absolutely devastating crits for Dino Hunter. The secret move hasn't been triggered either, so this is going to do max damage. John, look at that! Is Blood Moon going to get the free zero? Oh, this is... This is absolutely... Oh, it's a free zero! You hate to see it! But those crits... Those crits have been devastating. And it is a 3-0 victory for Blood Moon. Taking all the frustration of losing to Benjamin out on poor old Dino Hunter. And that will put Blood Moon top of this group. In emphatic style. And Dino Hunter, well... They'll just have to shake it off, go again. Yeah, it happens. Right, let's have a look at the table, we can end the session. Well, that's our group table, ladies and gentlemen. Blood Moon topping it with a massive 13 points. Four bonus points, more than anybody else in the tournament so far. Then we have Team Allo on 11 points there, suffering their first defeat of the tournament. Heady climbing up to third. Then we have Dino Hunter and Anvil level on points. You know, I think despite the 3-0 loss, I think it's still been a good start from Dino Hunter. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to make them feel better, because I always do it when a team loses 3-0. I, I did it with Arctic, I'm going to do it with Dino Hunter, I'm going to show them some love. They've had a good tournament so far, and they're still well in the mix. You know, that match was just a freak. Blood Moon got three big crits. And when those big crits are burning dashes on a T-Rex, it's not going to end well for you. Then we have Benjamin on Dino Hug on six points. And poor old Soto still looking for their first win on one point. And yeah, round five is going to be absolutely crucial for Martin Soto. But we've got a while for that yet. So I hope you enjoyed this session. And until next time, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.